goodness. Okay, let's see. I think that's straight. <laughs> now I have to find it on the computer. Hi. <laughs> Watts of Love Wednesday. Watts of Love Wednesday. Oh wait, I mean, before we before we start though, I want to show you all the stuff we've made so far. So let's see. We did this, and we did this, and we did this. What else have we done? We've done a lot of stuff glasses. <laughs> so, Chalking 101 was the first day, and I showed you how to wash, um, okay, confession here, I haven't done the second side of the boutique yet, of the spinning the boutique spinning sign yet, so it still has Halloween on it, <laughs> but we washed off this side, and we put our little, our little Valentine typewriter, on that side and then and um, a couple days later let's see was it Friday no yes no I don't remember the next time I went hi Teresa and Patricia the next time I came live <laughs> how are you ladies doing we did etching and, oh, I did a shirt, didn't I? And I didn't bring my shirt in here. So we made the shirt, it's minking. And then we um, inked on the plate. So we've done that so far. Inked on the plate and I went ahead and <clears throat> baked it. So now it's permanent. That's not gonna come off. And put the ribbon back on. So now this is ready to go. That's good, Teresa, that's good to hear. And then, we um, we did this little bag, right? This is the February Club Couture transfer. And so I inked the bag and then I went back to my craft room and I found this little tasseled ribbon on there. So we have that. Where do I want to put this? We'll be on my printer. And we also etched glasses. And I haven't done the other two yet. I gotta do the other two. But we etched these glasses so that I can get my fingerprints off of it too. They're all ready for, for Valentine's Day. We had the hearts and we had the little lips and the kisses. So there's that. And tonight, um, aren't they cute? I found those, I think, um, in the clearance area at... Um, um, Hobby Lobby, I think. I like to go to the clearance area every time I go there and look around. There's like two corners, one way in the back on one side, and then you go all the way to the other side where the fabric is, and they usually have a little clearance wall, and sometimes you can find, you know, little bags of stuff or little reels of stuff that are marked way down. Sorry about this, guys. <laughs> I'm growing this out. Is yeah. It's, it's doing its thing. <laughs> okay, so tonight I am going to do a Watts of Love transfer. Watts of Love is um, a nonprofit organization that helps provide light for people in countries where they don't have electricity. And so there are solar powered lights that they wear in their heads. So, um, in the dark, you know, if mom wakes up to change the baby, she can put her little light on her head and she can see what she's doing to take care of the baby, right? Or to take care of the kids. Or um, if dad is out and about at night still, he can put it on his head and still be taking care of business because the light's up here where he can see. He's like, it's awesome. So, um, 
we have transfers. We have certain transfers, and I put a link in the description to the transfers. You got to tell me which one's your favorite. I have a couple that I'm kind of debating on, but I'd like to know what your favorites are. So, if you purchase those transfers, two dollars of the of the um, purchase price goes to Watts of Love. There are um, places where you can just click donate a dollar, donate five dollars, donate ten dollars, donate twenty. You know, however much you can do, if you'd like to do that, you can do that as well. We also do events. We have um, uh, auctions, sales. I don't remember what they're called. <laughs> where I, people donate stuff and they get sold and the money goes to Watts of Love. And then um, when designers place orders, and in, when anybody else, even customers, when we place orders, we can round up our total to the nearest dollar and and then we'll also the little extra change will also go to lots of love and it, it really does add up if everybody was surrounded up it would add up like crazy and it would totally help them bring keep bringing the light to places where they really need it so that's one of the many things that I love about chalk couture and so tonight we're going to use the old keys Old keys, and it says old keys won't open new doors, and it has some keys. And as you can see, I've already used it <laughs> several times. So, and I have these little keys that I may or may not use, and I have these this little tag that I may or may not use, and um, some twine and some ribbon may or may not use got this burlap that I plan to use and I have this frame that I found at one of the vendor 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 malls vendor stores where I have a booth I was walking around and they had a couple frames like this so I grabbed them and um, so now it's time to make it pretty so let's get started so for, 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 my mouth won't work <laughs> before I get started I need to lower the camera down to the table so you can see what all I've got going on here on the table. All right. So if you tend to get dizzy, close your eyes, and I will let you know. Name me, name my I love keys too. But well, as a matter of fact, look what I ended up wearing today. I even think about it. <laughs> okay. Let me lower the camera. If you tend to get dizzy, close your eyes, and I'll let you know when we're there. Okay. So I'm gonna lower it down. Lower it down a little more, and then wait for the computer to catch up. How are you, Nema? You having a good day? All right. So, there's nothing inside this frame. It looks like somebody dry brushed it. I, I don't know if that's how it was originally, or if they just dry brushed it. Um, but this is the way it was when I picked it up, when I found it. So, um, I, I, I grabbed it because that was less work for me. <laughs> it was already done and I didn't have to do it. I like to do a lot of dry brushing, brushing on things. If I don't stab my mouth with my glasses, I'll be doing okay. So... I'm going to take this apart. I don't really need to take it apart right now, but I'm just going to go ahead and take it apart. Because at some point I'm going to have to take it apart, and then I'll assemble it when I'm done. I'm using chalk paste today. This project, if you really wanted, you could also use ink, since I'm using the fabric. But it's not necessary, because the fabric will be behind the glass when it's all said and done. So I'm going to take out this cardboard, set that aside. This needs to be cleaned and I'm going to need to get some Windex. I guess that's the one thing I didn't think of. I don't know if I can move these staples out of the way. This might not, I might not be able to get this out. If I can't get this out, that means I won't be heat setting it. 
I want to be able to heat set it. I'll worry about that later. If I if I can't if I have to I'll I'll deal with it later. So for now I'm just going to put this back. No, I'm not. I'm going to do this first. What am I doing? <laughs> that just threw me off. <laughs> I'm doing great. I am doing great, Nima. I get to play. And I get to see my friends. Chill with you guys. Okay, so I took this and cut it off of a piece of fabric. And it's going to go inside here by the time I'm all is said and done. But before I put it in there, I need to be careful with it. I want to put the keys on here. So I'm using bright white. Oh, that's brand new. I don't want to use a brand new one. <clears throat> Black velvet and Storm. And that's an older formula. So I'm going to add some um, um, distilled water and stir it up. This is what they look like now. This is what it used to be. When I first signed up, the paste was like this, and it wasn't bad. It just had a tendency to get thick like this. And so <clears throat> we had to add distilled water to it and get it thinned out again. And you have to be careful. You don't want to do too much distilled water because you don't want to be too thin because then it'll be more like paint and it'll just bleed on you when you're trying to do your thing. Okay, so that's ready. So we have our black velvet, our storm, and our white. Okay, and I want to put something underneath this because there will be chalk bleeding through. I'm trying to keep my table as nice as I possibly can. <laughs> For as long as I possibly can. There we go. That's good. All right, so I'm just going to do a couple of the large keys. Maybe I'll just do one of the large keys. So if this had been brand new, I would have written on the back of it, but it's already written on the back. So when I wash this and replace it back on, I will be sure to put it on the correct side. If you forget to write it on there, just look for the glossy, shiny side, and that is the side that you want to put it back on. And what I'm doing now is making sure I'm working out all of the air bubbles. I did not fuzz it because, number one, I'm putting it on fabric. But also because they're very, they're not very old, but they're older ones that I've used multiple times. So they're not as sticky as they were when I first bought them. I think I kind of want to do a combination of black and gray inside. And then I want to put the white lettering on top. And I think I want to do... This large key. On here. In storm. I've been going through a, 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 a gray, you know, like a mild tone kind of a thing grays and off-whites and really light pink and recently that's just been my thing all right so take off all the excess and put it back in here we go oops i just got it all over my arm can you see it So there's the first key. I don't know if you can see it with the lighting. See how it went through? Okay. Um, I'm going to 
to set this down so I can wash it later. Now when I'm done, I'm going to take this in the bathroom. I'm going to put it in the sink, and I'm going to use coolish to lukewarm water in my board eraser. Wash the top, turn it over, wash the sticky side, turn it back, make sure it's all nice and clean, and then lay it sticky side up on the towel, and then tomorrow morning I'll put it back on the backing. That way it'll have time to air dry. And I... My signature move. My signature move... Is to be wearing the paste, and I've managed. Wendy, hi, Wendy. It's good to see you too. How are you? Okay. So now we have one key. And now I'm going to take this one. <clears throat> excuse me. And I'm just going to put them in, put it in random places throughout the. I didn't really plan it out. I just kind of knew I just wanted to do this. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it this way. So I'm going to use the black velvet. to do this key over here There we go. Sorry, I'm really concentrating here. <laughs> I'm trying to jump ahead in my brain while I'm doing this. Try to picture what else I want to do on this canvas before I put it inside the frame. Okay. So, so far, this is what we have. What do you think? Should I put more? Hmm. So this is what it's going to be like. I think those three will be good, huh? What do you think? There will be words going across the middle of that. I think the three will look good. I can always add more if I decide I want to add more. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I have it all over my fingers. All right, I'm going to set these aside now. And I'm going to take a little bit of a dryer to this. Thank you, Teresa. I think it's going to work. Alright, I'm going to set this aside. Now, I'm going to reassemble this since I can't get the glass out. 
going to reassemble this for now. Put this cardboard back in. There we go. So that the glass doesn't get pushed down while I'm working on it. I'm going to go ahead and, and use ink because if I'm able to get it, uh, I got paste on there. If I'm able to get it apart when I'm ready to, later I will heat set it to make it permanent. But if I don't heat set it, it'll be okay. It'll stay on there. I just won't be able to, I'll just have to um, dry dust it only once it's dry and ready. I'll have to clean the inside too. All right. So now what I'm going to do is take this. Since I am doing it on glass, I'm going to go ahead and fuzz it a little bit. That way it won't stick too bad. It, I mean, it's old and used anyway. But it won't, it's still kind of sticky. And so by fuzzing it, it won't get too terribly stuck to the glass when I'm ready to take it off. I just want to center this. Seven. Six. See, it's pretty. It's still sticking pretty good. So, up to the fifty, and ooh wee. Try that. Better. Much better. Okay. But it's not centered this way. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. I'm a little OCD about that. I want... When I want something centered, it's got to be... I think it would be okay if it was off-centered, really, as much as it is. Make sure it's straight. <laughs> so now, I'm not going to worry about all this. I'm just going to work around the lettering. Make sure there are no air bubbles in the lettering. If we have air bubbles, we risk um, bleeding, and so then you won't get a very sharp uh, design. Okay. So, so how are you enjoying this event so far? Have you found things for yourself or for your family? Is this your first one or have you been to other ones like this? So really all I'm doing is just like the other stuff. I'm just taking the ink and spreading it around here, making sure I cover all the screened area. Then I will, there's a little bit, there's a few spots on here that will give it a little bit of a distressed look. So the ink won't go through those spots. Which is fine, that's what we want. All right. Um, I'll set that right there. 
Actually, I'm going to take that off right away. It's just easier to clean when I do that. All right, take this off. Probably should have done this one first to let it dry. See how nicely it's still sticking to the glass? Oh, hi, Carolina. Thank you. It is my pleasure. So that's where it's written on. And I just swiped it across my W. I just wiped my W with the backing. I'm just going to take a little bitty paintbrush and dab it in there. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I did that. I think what I'll do is once it's dry and the transfer is clean, I'll put it back on top of there and I'll fix that. I'm not going to do that now. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Okay, I'm going to dry this a little bit so it might get a little loud. I'm going to be very careful so I don't smear it anymore. But now I'm going to, luckily it doesn't touch the table when I turn it over. Take the board back off. I might just take these staples out and find a different way to keep it in there so I can get the glass out. Because I really do want to heat set the glass. And in order to heat set the glass, I will take it downstairs, put it on a cookie sheet, Place it in the oven while the oven is still cold. Turn it to 350. Let it preheat up to 350. Once it beeps at me and says, I'm here at 350, I set the timer for 30 minutes. And then um, once 30 minutes goes off, the time the 30 minute timer goes off, I turn the oven off and I leave the glass in the oven. So what I'll do is like tomorrow night, I'm gonna let this sit so that the ink has a chance to completely dry. And tomorrow night, I'll put it in the oven um, before I go to bed, let the 30 minute timer set and then turn the oven off. And then Friday morning, go downstairs and take it out of the oven. You need to wait until it's cold enough to touch by your hand to take it out of the oven. And that helps the ink to set to make it permanent. That's how I did the white plate. Okay. There's still smudges on here. I am not a window cleaner. I don't do windows. <laughs> and that is why. Because I'm just, I'm horrible at it. I leave smudges like you wouldn't believe. Alright, let's assemble this baby. So here are the keys. I put that inside there. Okay. And then put this back. I won't glue anything tonight because I'll, I'm going to want to take it back apart later and see if I can heat set it. I don't like those staples. Here's my little screwdriver. Got one more staple. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Turning it over. I'm peeking first. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, there it is so far. Old keys won't open new doors. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, now, <laughs> let's do... I'm sorry. I get, I get giddy every time I make something. Every single... I've been doing this since, gosh, I don't know how long. I did it just as a hobbyist for the longest time. 
And now I do this as a business and every single time I just get giddy when it comes out so nice. When it doesn't come out nice, I get sad. But then I get determined to find a way to fix it. But when it comes out like this, this well the first time, I can't stand it. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this cardboard. I don't need that right now. So, let's see. Thank you, Teresa. Now, the question is, I have to be careful. I don't smudge it anymore. Do I want to hang some keys off of here? I kind of think I want to put... Now, that's going to be too big, isn't it? If I had gone down further, I could use that. Or I could glue it right there. And then put... I could... Hmm, you know what? I don't like it. So, excuse me while I set my house on fire. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm burning my rope. I want it to look better. I kind of want it to have a little bit of that charred look, but I'm also trying to get rid of the strings. Now it smells like I'm trying to set the place on fire. All right. I never, I never do this the right way the first time. Okay, twist, turn it this way, twist, come this way, there we go. Oh, I didn't, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. Try this again. I got it centered. This way, twist to this way. One more time. There we go. Now I got it. <laughs> now, question is, how do I want to do these keys? Do I just want to... I have an idea. Okay, so I'm tying this around here. I might need to make it shorter. And then I'm tying this. Into a knot. Bring that up a little higher. Make this a little shorter. I thought about this all for a little while last night and then from the time I got home tonight until now until 7 30 and was starting to go live I kept trying to figure out how I was going to do this what did I want to do okay I need to make that short so they don't dangle too low and then I think I might want to add a little bit of what do you think should I Hmm. 
I'm just playing with it. <laughs> That's really all you can do is just play with it, right? See what you like. See if it comes out to something you like. No, no. That's not what I want you to do. I want you to. Maybe like this. Can we tie a bow? <laughs> I can't tie a bow tonight. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, make one bunny ear, wrap it around, push the other, other bunny ear through the hole. <laughs> there we go. That's where my struggle was right there. We don't want big giant bunny ears, we just want our little ones. Right, just little ones. Okay, scooch that back down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to raise the camera up just a little bit here. Close your eyes if you tend to get dizzy. I will let you know when we're there. All right, here we go. A little bit more. You let the computer catch up. Okay. Old keys won't open new doors. So this is just one of the um, one of the little lots of love transfers. If you purchase one, two dollars will go to that organization. And um, if you want to click the link and check out the transfers, let me know which one's your favorite. You see, Tui, so I've been on many events like this now, both as a vendor and a customer. It's fun. Yes, ma'am. And I have learned so much. Um, about, I didn't, I mean, I didn't, I hadn't even heard of a bunch of the ones that were, that are in the event. And this is my second one with, with these, with the, you know, in this same circuit. I love it. I love it. I love it. The people are awesome. I have met so many wonderful, awesome, fun people. <laughs> anyway, so that's, that's it for tonight. Um, I will go live again Saturday, I know that, to announce the winner. And I believe there's going to be one more game between now and then. Thank you, everybody. I think there's going to be one more game between now and then. And um, be watching for the game. And if you have any questions, remember, we can, we can do this as, you know, a fun. And there's access to a website to get the stuff that you need. You could do this as a way to make money. And there's so many ways to do that. Um, I take my products and I sell them in my booths. You can sell them online. Um, I give them as gifts so I don't have to go out. Well, not so I don't have to go out and buy gifts, but you don't have to go out and buy gifts if you make them already and they get something unique and one of a kind and with your own little touch to it. And, um, if you like, we could do an online party or, um, I don't know if there's anybody here in the Tulsa area where we could do it in person. Um, I take and do classes with, with this stuff. I do classes over where I have one of my booths. That's a way you could make money is having classes. All kinds of ways to do this. Um, what else? Oh, and there's also Club Couture. Remember, Club Couture is giving away five free transfers to anybody who subscribes this month. And the first ten people who subscribe during this event will get an additional free transfer from me. And I have a stack of them on hand that I'll let you choose from. And uh, the newsletter, if you sign up for the newsletter, uh, just go to my website and it's right there in the front. Sign up for the newsletter, give them your first, last name, and your email address, and you will be entered into a drawing for a $100 shopping spree. And this is the perfect time because the new spring-summer products were released, what's today, the night? Yesterday. Awesome, awesome stuff. I can't even mention how much money I spent yesterday. 
So anyway, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Nanny and Teresa and Patricia and Carolina. And did I, def I know I didn't forget any. Did I forget? Did I forget everybody? And Teresa and Wendy. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. It was so much fun. And uh, I will see you all soon. Have a great time. Enjoy the rest of the party event. Is this a party? It's a party. It's an event. It's a party. Either way. <laughs> and I'll talk with you soon. Bye, everybody.